Okay, you guys, I promised a video on Friday. Um, I just got home. Well, I do have a package coming in this evening. It's just kids' school clothes, so there's nothing really there to video. Um, I figured you really didn't want to see clothes for four children. Um, I did do some shopping and got some of those today. But I figured I'd show you the funner stuff I got today that you guys will be seeing in other videos. Um, some of it. Um, I got this little case, which you probably won't see in any future videos. Um, just a little bitty case. I like little cute things like this, especially since they're zebra. Um, let me unstuff it. But I did get this today. It was really cute. I love it. Okay. Um, pretty much everything else is um, stuff that I've gotten in the mail recently since the last video or stuff that I went to town about today. Um, I did get stuff in the mail today and I figured we're going to open that together on here because I have not opened it yet because I just got it out of the mailbox. So, in the last video, I showed you guys that I had gotten this um, Red Heart Super Saver Gold yarn for the Wizard of Oz blanket. And I've been making squares out of the other one because I have two of them. Um, and I have it finished. But I kept debating the fact that gold really didn't go with the Wizard of Oz theme. That I should have gotten yellow for the Yellow Brick Road. So while I was at the store today, I got a Red Heart Super Saver. Oops, upside down. You can't read that, can you? Red Heart Super Saver in bright yellow. Um, really needed two of them, but they only had one. Um, I've already made a bunch of these. I've got like 10 squares already done of this. So I guess I will come up with some other plan to use the gold. Um, I don't know what yet, but I've got about 10 of these done. Um, but I'll come up with something. I don't know. We'll see something for those. I guess I'll just make a bag of granny squares and that's where they'll go. Um, I got two yarns today that I did not plan on buying. My daughter is such an enabler. Um, so I got this one, which is Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I don't know how well the color is really showing up on the screen. It's called Banana Berry. It's really, really pretty. It's got yellows and blues and greens. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to be. I only got one of them because I was trying really hard not to buy what I didn't need. But I also got this one, which I really don't need, and I'm not sure how well that shows up either. It's um, called Bright Mix. It's got lots of blues, greens, purples, and pinks. Wasn't planning those two at all. Um, you guys saw this one in the last video too, and I had the dark blue, and I said I was thinking about doing this with the white for the dress. However, the dress Dorothy wears is a light blue, so I got two of the light blue to go with the white, so I think that'll be better. So those are the changes to that blanket. So now I've got two blues that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, and I've got the golds. Um, some people had seen that I had ordered some stuff from Knit Picks. Um, I posted that it cost me like 13 and a half bucks, and I got um, eight skeins of yarn. Um, this one is Knit Picks Wool of the Andy Sport. Um, I don't know. It's um, 50 gram ball. I'm not sure if it, which number is the right one. It was great. It went by a name on their website, not numbers. So I don't know what it is. I don't have my paper with me. But I got two of those. Um, they're sport weight. I have no clue what I'm doing with these and their wool. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing with any of this yarn. i just going to put it out. So I guess we'll see where those take me. Um, I also got... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it did say. Maybe I missed it. Did they? Okay, no, that one didn't. Um, it just had a number. I got two of these in Brava Sport. They're called Eggplant. It's really pretty purple. Um, each one is 100 grams, 273 yards. It's a number two yarn. Still sport bait. Still no clue what I'm dealing with that. Sounds like my kids are playing outside of my door. And I got two of these. Um, these are Highland Wool. 50 grams. I'm not real sure I like the feel of them. 
Um, they're Wool of the Andes Calypso Heather. Kind of a greenish color with a little bit of gray kind of in there, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do or that I even really like them. Yes, we'll see. And then the last two from that were, were Wool of the Andes Sports Fairy Tale. These are 50 gram balls, 137 yards. Um, they're pretty thin. Don't know what I'm going to do with those either. I don't know why I buy things that I have no clue what I'm going to do with. Um, online. Um, ugh, if I can get the little baggie open. I got these cute little things. I was hoping they would come in different colors. But I got these on eBay. Um, I'm going to take them out of the little baggies. These are, I was hoping to get a pink one in a different color. A pink one for my daughter and a different color for my oldest. Um, they're little erasers that look like little iPhones. I got two of those. There you go. So I got two of those this week. I was hoping they'd be different colors so they could each have one. He's a boy. Although he did say that he would he would deal with it being pink. So probably he'll just keep it at home and use it. It's just totally fine with me. So I did get two of those this week. Um, I got these off of, um... Bastia. They came in this week. They, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you these. Put these other ones back in the bag. It came as a set of six. I'm trying really hard not to drop these things. Um, like that. Um, it's this little thing. They're bead caps. Um, I plan to try using them with some of the stitch markers maybe. Or the marble necklaces that I'm working on. We'll see. They are really, really thin. They're thinner than I thought they would be. Um, I also got these. They're bead spacers. I got a whole little bag of them. I'm gonna try to pull one out so you can see it. These are also these came off of eBay with the little erasers. I thought these would be bigger than they are, but they're not. But I think they'll be really good with doing stitch markers. Um like maybe with some of the smaller beads or something, I don't know. Or if I do them sideways, they could be good, like make little abacuses out of them for counting stitches. Um, I'm gonna try to show you this next one. I did not think to bring in a marble with me or a bead or anything else for you guys to see this with so you get an idea of what it really looks like. Um, trying to, in case you're wondering, I am looking around trying to see if I got anything that I can put this on so you guys can see it. Um, Unfortunately, I don't. Um, okay. So, how well you can see it, but this is the base. And then you'd put a bead in the middle or a charm or something, and then put that on top. And it looks like a. Just leave them laying there. It'll look like a little teapot. I'm help um, you. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Um. Okay. This is the closest thing I've got to a marble in here right now. This actually comes from a camera bag. Or a camera strap, rather, for my husband's old dive camera that quit working. But you'd put, like, your bead on there. And then you'd put the top on it, and it looked like a little teapot. And I plan on making some little counters out of those. It's kind of cute. It look a lot cuter when it's on an actual um, bead or marble and not hanging from one of those straps. But these are going to have to wait till school starts because I need them to be able to sit and air dry without a kid trying to play with them while they're drying. So that'll be a project for once school starts. I have, I believe, um, 10 of those that I can make, which I can't wait because I think they're, they'll be really, really cute. I'm looking forward to those. can't get the bag to close now so I don't lose it. There it goes. Okay so we're gonna finish today's shopping trip from Walmart and then we will look at the stuff that came in the mail today. Um, it's all the baking and stuff. Okay. With all of the stuff that I've been baking and stuff I knew I've got a bunch of um, measuring spoons and stuff but I, I like my hard ones so I did get a new set today of the Faberware, they're the hard ones. 
And the really cool thing about this is normally you only get to a tablespoon and they stop. This set comes with two tablespoons. I love it because I'll be able to use this for like when I make cookies and stuff. That's like perfect awesome size for like getting cookie dough or biscuits or whatever, something out. So that'll be awesome. And I love the fact that they put them on little bitty ring things but I never use them in the kitchen for that so I'll find some other use for that. And I don't know why I bought another set. Really don't. But I bought a matching set of measuring cups. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're matching. Maybe I'll put those away until I break one of my other ones. Um, I do need more whisks. I, I'm forever breaking them. So I got a set of multicolored ended rubber whisks. It's a set of two. I love these. And it's off in the shopping trip. Now it's mail call time. Let's see what we got in the mail. This one has some really cool stamps on it. Um, but I don't know what it's from or what it is or anything else. So you're finding out when I find out. I'm gonna open up the back. Okay. Um, I don't know what these are. These are all numbered. Um, I had told you guys in the last video that I was looking at making my mom an album with stamps, and that's what all of these are. Um, I'm going to carefully open them so I can kind of try to show you the stamps. Um, but yeah, these are the stamps that I got for her for her collection. Um, and maybe daddy? No, go finish up. No way. I'll finish up. Okay, and they came in these little bitty things. I'm trying to be really careful with these because a lot of these are really old. Um, these are three cent stamps, and they say home of Theodore Roosevelt, and this tells you where they're from. Um, these have never been used, never circulated. They're from the corner. Um, you can tell they came off a corner. It does have the number on it. Um, I've got to create some kind of an album or something for these for her. I'm probably not going to pull them all out because I'm worried that I'm going to tear them up right now. Um, I don't know. Maybe we will quickly. Just got to be careful. i got to find a way to store these too. Um, a lot of these are all older stamps. These are 8 cent airmail stamps. Yeah. I'll be in in a minute. So those are eight cent airmail stamps. They're all in little bags. Um, I need to go back down, go back to where I got them, and actually write down the information the guy has on them because some of them do have info on the envelope, some of them don't. And my concern. That happened. I can't find my note. And my note appeared. Okay, let me finish these up. Okay, this set has got some information on the envelope, which is really good. Um, these, they say children's stamp, 1956, three cents. And apparently, again, that is a corner block set. Um, Thankfully, he put some information on there about them because I know nothing about stamps. Other than when I tried to pick some from this guy for her, I tried to pick some of the older ones because I thought they looked cooler. And because older usually means a little bit more rare. Um, these are three cent stamps. They're from 1758 to 1950, 1958 Gunston Hall. Not sure where that is or what that is. It's yet another corner block. And we have one more set of these to go. I keep from tearing them. Ooh. And let's, again, thankfully the guy put a little bit of information on the envelope because I know nothing about the stamps. So it looks like only a couple of these I won't have to look anything up on. Most of them he infoed some of them for me. And this last one, 
It says Women's Suffrage 50th Anniversary Six Cents. Six cents. Let's get another corner block. <coughs> I just thought it looked kind of cool. Um, two tone blue. So I got her that one. We got three more to go, and they all came, I'm thinking, from eBay. Easy to be to get into these. I'll look for them. Yay, that one was really easy. <clears throat> Ooh, this one got here really quick. I actually just ordered this one not that long ago. Um, so that's actually really cool. Okay. Hang on. Whoa. Big bubbles. Okay. Big pop and bubbles. Okay. Um, I should show you this one in the bag if there wasn't a big thing stamped right in the front of the case. Oh! And it's a sticker. Yay. Um, it's kind of a pirate themed bead set. There are. It's a pop Yeah, sweet's hard. Black and white flowers. It's a pirate looking one. It's just all kinds of pirate mixed beads. It's just like really awesome. Cheap. Um, I also got some round circle beads and some little heart beads that are different designs. I'm trying to pull them all out so I don't lose them. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, out of two other bags, I can't tell you what came from where because my son decided to open them for me. This one came out of this one. Okay. This one can all be these. Small plus little thing. Um, okay. Thank you. This is from China. Okay. This is one of them. I got a little set of beads. Um, these are going to be some stitch markers for some people that I know that like skulls. Um, I got some different ones. There's. I'll be there in a minute. Um, I think there are 10 of these. I'm not sure. I'm going to get stitch markers made, and these will be up on Etsy. Um, Sorry, so people. These will end up on Etsy as stitch markers. <laughs> I got these. With... James, please stop. Hey, stop it in there. I got a bunch of these. They're actually meant for cell phone something and others. I guess you put, like, charms on them and stick them in your cell phone or something. I don't know. Somehow my brain didn't register that when I got them, but they do have this cool little hole at the top, which you can barely see. I figure I can put a charm on there, and they can hang either on the stitch like that, or I can put little clips on them so they can be stitch marker strings. I'll be there in a minute. Um, all kinds of colors. I don't know how many are in there. I don't remember, but they are what they are. More of those little bitty bead caps. These are in gunmetal. Um, totally different style bead cap that I'm going to use on spacers. They're cool little design. They're kind of hard to see. And they're too little to take out without dropping them. More bead caps. Different design. Can't wait to get started with them. These are more of the even littler bead caps, which would be really good on some of the smaller ones that I've got. More smaller ones in all kinds of colors, so they will be going on beads for um, stitch markers and stuff like that. Totally different kind. Thinking on either some stitch markers with these, and also for the um, marble necklaces. These are some other ones that are bigger. I can take one of these out and get them open. See if I can get to one. They go like this over top of a marble, which I did not bring. They bend. No, it's not that. Um, but they go over top of a marble for some of the necklaces that I make, and I might put them on some of the stitch markers to decorate some of the beads a little more. Um, there is a, <laughs> a whole little bag of these. I don't know how many is in there, but that's quite a few. Um, and I think 
that pretty much covers it all. Um, there might be more stuff coming over the weekend. Oh, and as I was thinking, and I mentioned earlier, or last week in the last video, I didn't know which day that I was going to do all this mail call shopping type stuff. Um, I think I'm just going to do it on Fridays. That way I can collect things throughout the week. It'll be a lot easier. Um, there won't be much shopping trips going on um, to record for you guys because the biggest thing I will be shopping for next week will be groceries. With four kids, and I don't think you guys really care about my groceries. Not really. So. Pickle stop. James got a lot. Kind of hard drink out of. Wow. Let's got kind of work on that one. Ow. Stop. In case you're wondering, this is one of those snack eats cups. You put your drink down here. Has a cute little flip top cap. Drink snack goes in there. Um. A little bit of sucking kind of hard on that, but it works. I look forward to using it. Um, but I think that's it. Um, I'll try to do a regular vlog on Monday, maybe. I think. I think Monday's one of my free days. Um, and on Monday, I will try to show you guys hopefully some progress on my project. <coughs> Sorry, that's my three-year-old <laughs> and then my 13-year-old and eight-year-old laughing about it. Um, we will aim for Monday to be a regular vlog day. I don't know, I might do one Sunday because my husband yeah, is working, I believe, Sunday all day. Which means I will have free time Sunday night if the kids go to bed for about four hours. So maybe I'll do one then. Um, <laughs> But hopefully then I'll have progress because like I said right now all I've really done is um, gold color granny squares and if you are on Google Plus with me you have seen the dress and shirt that I made for my daughter's doll um, the other day because I was bored. Um, I got bored the other night and just started playing around and next thing I know we had, please stop. Next thing I know, we had a full-length skirt and a shirt going on. I don't know. What happens when you get bored? Ah, she decided to bring it to me. Mom, she's backwards. I know, she's backwards. She had to wait. Oh, wrong way. Okay, it's all the way out. Her head backwards. Let's turn her around. But yeah, see? Full-length skirt. It actually, the skirt starts at the green and goes down. The shirt and it's got a ponytail holder in the top, so it makes it really, really stretchy. And the shirt actually comes to here, but I put the skirt on top of it. I'm trying to hold the shirt down because I made the shirt too big. I was guessing. Joys have never making doll clothing before. And if you look closely, you can see through the skirt. See, the skirt actually does fit one of her other baby dolls. Unfortunately, the shirt does not fit her other doll. I do not think they want to see a um, naked doll. But yeah, the stitches I used, I did some single crochet into double, into triple, into quadruple, double triple, I think they call it, or double, double treble, I think is what they call it. I don't remember. It's where you go around three times before you stick it through the hole. And then I went back down to a triple, to double, two rows of single. So yeah, I don't know. I was bored and playing around and voila, the skirt was created and then the shirt that looks kind of funny if you look right here you can see where it's not real great gave her a crisscross back so that's really been it the granny squares and this have been it don't you love that wild hairstyle we got going on here needs to need some hairspray don't she need some hairspray don't she there we go now she looks a little more civilized what is wild hair Um, apparently my daughter crazy. likes the wild hair. So there. We got wild hair back. My bad. <laughs> so, but that's been it. It's a pizza. We will aim for a new one, either Sunday or Monday, with hopefully, no, would you stop? Some progress on something. So, um, next one Sunday or Monday, I don't know. 
Next shopping slash meal extravaganza will be Friday. And I guess that will be, yep. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe more later. But for now, I've got to go because my battery's fixing to die. See y'all later.